Your manager told me you're gonna knock out Pacquiao with the uppercut. Tu manager dijo, con el con el que sea, el derechazo, upper, gancho, lo que le agarre. Anything. It could be uppercuts, right hand, body shots, but whatever I get him with. He's hopelessly behind and getting no hand movement at all. No hand movement. Pacquiao looking towards the ref, asking him to stop the fight at this point, it looks to me. Mosley again a right and a left and a right and a left. And Margarito about to go down and the referee steps in. This fight is over. <laughs> Bukod kay Brandon Rio sa isa si Antonio Margarito sa mga nakalaban ni Manny Pacquiao na talaga namang kinaiinisan hindi lang ng mga Pinoy kundi sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo. Brandon Rio chingon, iba ser campeon, iba ganun na Zorita. Either Brandon Rio is a badass and Zorita is going to get fucked up. Tumatak ang pangalan ni Margarito sa mga Pinoy boxing fans matapos itong paulanan ng trust talk si Manny Pacquiao para sa build up ng kanilang paparating na laban. Julian, who's gonna win? Pacquiao or Margarito? Margarito. Yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah. Who's that? No, this guy. Puto. It's Puto Pacquiao. <laughs> <laughs> As he is. Bendeo. Naging epektibo naman ang ginawa ni Margarito dahil mas lalo pa siyang nakilala sa buong mundo dahil sa ginawa nito kay Manny Pacquiao. Subalit kasabay naman nito ay ang unti-unting panglubog ng kanyang karir dahil sa pinsala na tinamu nito kay Manny Pacquiao na lumala ng lumala sa mga sumunod na laban nito. November 13, 2010, nakaharap ni Margarito ang nooy hari ng boxing na si Manny Pacquiao. Nagtagpo ang dalawa sa catchweight na 150 pounds para sa bakanteng WBC Super Welterweight title. Dahil sa maliit si Pacquiao para sa nasabing division, ay tiwala si Margarito na hindi uubra sa kanya ang nooy 7 division world champion pa lamang. Okay. Pues confirme preparation ni me sentido como bueno, yo lo mencionado que que me siento demasiado fuerte para para propinar uno para Subalit sa pagharap ng dalawa ay hindi nakaporma ang tinaguri ang Tijuana Tornado na ginawang walking punching bag ni Pacquiao sa loob ng labing dalawang round. Pacquiao show. No, if, if I had a prediction, it was going to be that Pacquiao would win all 
12 rounds, winning an unanimous decision, and there'd be a lot of those at moment tonight. Yes. I thought Pacquiao would stop Margarito right around the sixth or seventh round. And um, you may be on target, or, or you may be, because Margarito is, 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 seems to be weathering these storms pretty well in spite of these. Miguel, earlier today, Miguel said this is going to be a very tough fight. So that was said, and I thought that that guy had to hit. He said, man, he may have hit, but it's going to be a hard fight. What an incredible battle that was a smaller guy. But I'm Rick 140 pounds, I think man is going to knock out. Another anomaly. If he's in good shape and he can continue to do this, he'll win the fight. It's probably easy. But, you know, once he gets in a... At this point. And as I said, that Pacquiao landed some great hook. Knockout style hook. He's down bigger than himself. Touching him up, feeding him up, ruining his face the way he is. This will be in the discussion. Well, it's not just that Margarito's 17 pounds bigger, it's that the athletic commission to make Margarito shave off the beard, which probably they would have done. Pacquiao said, leave it there. Out. Putting it on Margarito right now. Boom! Another perfect right hook. What a joke. Like. Another measure of redemption for Margarito. Even though he's the villain with the hand wrap, he has a ton of knowledge. He's a ref, he's a no hand no Pacquiao ball. looking towards the ref, asking him to stop the fight at this point, it looks to me. Landed a shot. Look. If the referee stopped, it wouldn't be in a complaint, but I just don't think he's going to stop the table. It reminds me of Roy Jones against Brian Brannan. Jones actually asked the referee, when in the heck are you going to stop this fight? As that just seemingly was doing that with Roy Jones in the later rounds, too. Absolutely. There's no question they're watching this thinking, maybe the time is right to fight this guy. For years, Sugar Ray Leonard wouldn't fight Marvin Hagler for Hagler beat. Then he took the fight. You wonder if maybe Floyd is waiting for Pacquiao to slow down a little bit. But it's hard to say because yeah. he's fighting such different guys a every guy. time out, and they're all so big. Nagtamo si Margarito ng matinding injury sa kanyang mata na kalaunan ay naging sanhi pa ng pagiretiro nito. Pinagsisihan din ni Margarito ang pag-underestimate nito kay Pacquiao at sa pagpigil nito sa kanyang trainer na si Robert Garcia na ipahinto ang laban. Dahil sa pride ni Margarito ay tinapos pa din ito ang laban kontra kay Pacquiao kahit na maluba na ang sinapit ng mukha nito. Matapos ang isang taon ay muli na namang sumabak sa world title fight si Margarito sa kabila ng seryosong injury nito sa kanang mata dulot ng pinsala na ibinigay ni Pacquiao sa kanya sa laban. Sa pagkakataong ito ay makakaharap nito sa ikalawang pagkakataon si Miguel Cotto na nauna nitong tinalo tatlong taon na ang nakakaraan. Incredible action here at the MGM Grand. Antonio Margarito close to making his dream. Toto is wobbly. Margarito finishing. Yes, Toto's going down. Toto just his only thing keeping him up now is his heart. I'm done. I'm done. There, he may do it now. He may do it now. Toto's in big trouble. They're going to wave it off. Inihalin tulad pa nga ni Margarito ang suntok ni Cotto sa suntok ng batang babae na wala nga daw kalakas-lakas. Tiwala pa nga ito na knockout na naman ang aabuti ni Cotto katulad sa una nilang pagharap kung saan nasilat nito si Cotto sa pamamagitan ng 11th round technical knockout. Sa sobrang bilib ni Margarito sa kanyang sarili ay wala itong kaalam-alam na ang laban na pala niya kontra kay Cotto ang lalong sisira sa kanyang karir. is behind him once, but definitely it's closing the gap as the fight moves into the second half. There goes the short Margarito uppercuts on the inside. Two more shots to Margarito's right eye, though, by Cotto's left hand. Another left hook 
to the eye. That one was on the door. I can't think of it. A little short with the big power shot he tried when he let Margarito go. Cotto spitting blood, and Margarito Good left landed up. two devastating body punches to Cotto's. Putting on pressure, but here's a landing in effective punches. He's been very ineffective at landing clean blows. To the head. 69, 55, five rounds to one, Miguel Cotto. Cotto's landed at the shots to three rounds. Five to one, Miguel Cotto. He's winning this fight, running away. Because Jim, he's running. I, I mean, I gotta say it, he's running. But he's winning the fight. Stopping, landing clean, hard, effective shots. Antonio Margarito, just like Emmanuel said, he's not really landing those clean, hard, effective shots. The guy no, it's not, because you're looking further on down the round, about two or three more rounds like this. Another hard left hook against Margarito's eye. And Margarito Physical, every play. chance he gets, he's That's the close. big change from what he did last time. And Cotto gets in a right hand half of his power shots in the round. Accurate punching by Cotto, and his accuracy is going up now. Cotto finally threw a left hook to the body. Time time He's done a great job on blocks. He fought one of the best fights of his life. And Margarita came in there. No, he's only landed just to punch his other round. The first time he landed two punches. Good domination by Cotto. Target jet. He's moving in, punching, but not landing anything. Just applying pressure. And, and Cotto's face has not exploded. You see some of the qualities that made him successful. Now that's, Dogged determination. This is when Miguel should load up on some shots right there in that position. This is when he's the most effective. Margarito still stalking, stalking, stalking. Cotto stands his ground and rips him with a left hook to the chin. Although the geography of the fight is very similar to the first fight. Not as effective tonight as they were the first time, but this guy's got a ton of heart. He's standing, moving, and changing directions. The Margarita cannot get a stationary target to punch at. Joe's willing to sacrifice his health, obviously. Remember the first fight where this they had this those kinds where, of exchanges? This is where Mar I mean, Miguel should punch. He should. Margarito told me he was willing to die to win a fight. Cotto said, no, I'm not. And that's one of many Cotto's advantages here. The effect of the short punch is compared to the Another ripped left hook for Cotto. Margarito's punches just don't have the same sledgehammer impact that they... Out in Las Vegas. Good left by Cotto. And Puerto Ricans come to their feet as Cotto hammers Margarita with another Let's left to the eye. We're three quarters of the way through. Bugbog ang inabot ni Margarito kung saan lumala pa ang injury sa kanang mata nito dahil sa ginawa din itong punching bag ni Cotto. Tumagal lamang ng siyam na round si Margarito bago inihinto ng referee ang laban. Dahil sa seryosong injury sa kanyang mata, ay nagretiro na si Margarito subalit makaraan lamang halos limang taon ay muli itong nagbalik na mas lalo nagpalala sa kondisyon ng kanyang mata. March 5, 2016 ay nakaharap nito si Jorge Paez kung saan nakatikim na naman ng matinding knockdown si Margarito. Matapos ang isang taon ay muli na namang napinsala ang mata ni Margarito na makatikim ito ng headbutt kontra kay Carson James. Busca el Tony pero todavía Tony no ha lastimado a Carson Jones. Mira, se le va a lastimar. Señores, porque ya Carson Jones sabe que tiene el poder ahora el Oper en corto al rostro del Tony Margarito. Un minutito para que finalice el séptimo. Lo busca de nuevo ahora hacia atrás Antonio Margarito. A ver, travieso, a ver, hay poder del lado de Carson Jones. No, 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 que, que pare la pelea. 
Último segundo pegadito a las cuerdas. Ahora el Tony Margarito a la derecha de parte de Carson John de nuevo. Otra vez en las cuerdas el Tony Margarito. No anda bien. No pasa buen momento. Parece que no va a salir. Parece que no sale Antonio Margarito. Mira, y ahí está, feliz, señores. Feliz, sí. No sale Antonio Margarito para el octavo asalto. Sería entonces una victoria por la vía del knockout, sí. caos, caos, de sí. manera técnica para Carson Jones. Sí. Para ahora. Sa kabila ng paghinto ng referee ng laban, inanalo pa di si Margarito na lamang sa scorecard bago ang accidental headbutt. Antonio! Tony! Margarito! Sa kabila naman ng sunod-sunod na panalo ni Margarito, ay tuluyan na itong nagretiro dahil sa kondisyon ng kanyang mata at dahil na din sa tumatanda na ito. Hanggang ngayon nga ay bakas pa din sa mukha ni Margarito ang pinsala sa kanyang mata na nakuha nito kay Pacquiao at Koto na mas pinalala pa sa mga huli nitong laban.